hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of coordinator short series so what we did in the previous tutorial we created um, a list of you uh, a list of users from the database uh, here and we created the database and run some queries to get the data from the database so what we are doing today is i created a register page here so we will be doing some form validation on this form so let's get started so here is the register page simple html you can create it and or maybe copy paste it from here or um, here we have the user function in which we are simply loading the register view so now we will do some form validation so for do the form validation we first of all need to load the library of coordinator so let's get started this and the library name is form validation you can also auto load in the auto load file if you have to do it again and again so for now we are loading it here and now we have to set some rules for the validation so for example we we want to say that first name must be uh, a string or a five characters length and last name must be required and gender must be required and so on so how we set the rules um, this form validation and the method we call is set rules and we pass in it the name of the field in our case the name of the field is um, for first name it is first name and first name and the label which will show on the browser so we call it first name and then the rule so in our case let's record it so if, then we call run form validation run if this form validation run method is equal to true if the form validation set true so we say that form is validated or we can insert the user in the database so we will do it later so let's test it out so if we do it register and we we, we said that first name is required so if we leave empty and refresh so here comes nothing no error so why is that because we are just saying that if true then return the error but we are not saying that print our errors for like this so how we echo the errors we go to the register page where we want to echo so here we say that <coughs> there is another coordinator function called validation errors it is errors so now if we go and we reload and submit the form so it says the form uh, the first name field is required the first name is the label which we were passing out here first name we can change it and the required so we it is must for the user so now we are getting the we can also apply the css to it like we can wrap it in the div so if we use the bootstrap div uh, for the alert alert danger and comma and the end if and the tag so now if we do that we get a beautiful first name is required so we can do it for the multiple fields so let's do it for the uh, let's say age so how we do the age we copy this we paste it and we put here the name of the age field so in our case it is name age and we put it here and the label anything you want to show and say it is required so if we if we say it is required it will display error required required but we if, if we want to say that it must be a numeric or anything else we can also do that so i will show you the list of rules we can use so 
it, it, it is now numeric. We, we use the pipe for another rule, and we can use multiple rules here, another pipe and another rule. So, if we now come here and click register, so it says the uh, name field is required. But if we fill the name, and here we add a some string and string, so it says the age field must contain only numbers. So now let's go to the form validation. Here I open the form validation coordinator user guide. So if we come down to see the rules that we can use, so scroll down, scroll down, and here we find the table. Like we are using required, so it, it has no parameter than return false and matches differ is unique minimum length minimum length maximum length so let's use another minimum length here so we say minimum length and we can pass the variables like these three so if we do let's say we have five if we have five and we come back here reload it and now we say Sarah Ali and one two and one two. Now if we register it says the age field must be at least five character in length. So actually I was thinking to add this in the name. So here we go. So now if we refresh with Sarah which is four, so we must get an error. So no error here. The first name field must be five character in length so here we go you, uh, you must see this form validation class here are lot of validation rules valid IP decimal integer numeric and etc etc there is everything we need so you must read this and you will get the more help and related queries so please thumbs up if you enjoy the video and also 